Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the type of audio file formats that we can upload over to CapCut to use for our projects, videos, or our workspaces. So by default, there are only a select number of uh, audio formats or audio files that we can upload to CapCut in use and edit into our video. So throughout the duration of this video, we'll be talking about which formats uh, those are, as well as how to fix this problem if you were to upload an unsupported file format. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do, uh, whether you're on any platform in CapCut, be it the desktop uh, program for CapCut or the mobile app version on your phone, as well as the browser site, you would first want to make sure that you're logged in with your account. So as you can see, I have the dashboard ready right here. And if I were to upload a media file, let's say a video, so I were to click on video and let's say that I want to import a, uh, an audio file to it, right? So I would click on the audio tab on the very left hand side of the screen. And then from here, you can either use the ones provided by CapCut or do our, um, upload one yourself. Now, if you guys go to upload an audio file format, that's not supported. So just to show, uh, give you guys a bit of, um, insights and what's supported, you can see that it reads here. Uh, for under format support, CapCut supports audio formats across the board, including MP3, uh, WAV or WAV files, M4A, FLAC, and more. So if you've noticed, um, uh, this isn't all of the audio, audio formats that we're familiar with. And the way to fix it, honestly, is to just use an online converter. So if you guys check online, there's actually a lot of uh, converters in place. So an example is if you go to Google, and type down MP3 to M4A, you'll see that there's an online converter for it. So to use it, simply upload your file on their website and convert it to a new file and download that file and bring it over to CapCut. And that's honestly all there is and all it takes. So yeah, um, that's the video. So hopefully it helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.